Welcome back. So right now we're calculating uh, with only the plus. Let's try and play with that. Let's just try and add a new H3 right here. I'm going to add a bit of um, a bit to the view right here. We're going to add two radio buttons just to play around with this. So I'll make a new input here and I'll give the type of radio button. Uh, there it also it keeps helping me so it'll be a radio like this. I will give it an NG model. So we remember you have to do the square like this and the parentheses like this. This is what it's going to end up with and we'll call it an NG model like this. I need the L. And then that will be equal to a new model that we are building and let's just call it uh, calc expression, something like this. I, it's, it's going to be the different uh, types of calculations. One do like um, multiplication or dividing or uh, adding or subtracting, right? So that's just going to be called the calc expression. Now then we're also going to put in what should the default value be when we select this radio button and then the value should actually be set. In my case, let's just put in a plus if it's this one and I'll make another radio button right here and there I'll put in a minus as the value right here. And then, so the last thing I want to just put in here is actually the text that I want to display in and let's just put in a plus right here for this guy and a minus right here for this guy. They will kind of be written right after the the radio button will be shown and let's just do one more thing. I'll just put in a break line right here to get a new line. And now all of these tags are actually standard HTML tags. So if you don't know them yet, you will start learning them as we build this. So the input is kind of, it's different types of input. In this case, it's going to be a radio button. In this case, it's as default, it's a text field, right? Now the BR, that's actually a new line. So it means I'm going to go to the next line. I'm going to make an extra line. Now to make this work, let's just add our new property right here. And that needs to be a string. So let's try and jump into our component TS file again right here. Remember, every time we're trying to create new properties, it's in the component, right? So here we'll go in and I'll add a new guy. Just put in plus for now, like this. And there we go. Let's see if this actually works. Uh, now notice I get a lint error here again, and that's a very important lesson here. You should not use double quotation marks. You should just use single quotation marks instead, like this when you're writing code in Angular and TypeScript. So there we go. Now we have our beautiful string right here. This seems to be running now. Let's see what we actually got. Let's try and look at the application. So now we have it like a plus minus right here that we can select. They're not pretty. Don't worry about design yet. You can always, always style this later. You can always add these styling later on. So now we just added two radio buttons. That's how simple it was. And um, just to figure out if this actually works, let's do one more thing and then we'll end this lesson because now we have a calc expression that's either plus or minus. So what do you think we have to do? Well, if we go down here now and just add the calc expression down here, you'll actually see the plus or minus down here depending on what you select. It won't do a minus, but it'll show you the minus down there, right? What? Yeah, that's how simple it was. Notice it'll still do plus no matter what I do because we didn't fix the function and we're going to look at that in the next lesson. So see you next time. Now you kind of made a few radio buttons and you even added a way for us to see what we're actually calculating if it's plus or minus. You gotta love it.